coming in and helping me. So today we're going to make mac and cheese. Have you ever had mac and cheese with cartwheels? Yes, I have. You have? I thought I was showing her something new. Okay, the first thing I'm going to do, Cal, is get some salt in the water. You've probably seen your dad and mom cook pasta a million times. And me at Grandma Rose's. Lots of salt. And get these cartwheels in. We want them to cook for about 10 minutes or, as I always say, about two minutes short of package instructions. Now, I don't know, have you ever made a homemade mac and cheese? No. All right, so this is where it's going to be new for Callie. Usually you make it out of a box, right? Yeah. All right, so we're going to show you how easy it is. Now, we have some cheese. Do you think you can grate this? Yes. All right, so I have put a box grater. This is called a box grater in a bowl, and I want you to grate it on the big side. So okay. why don't you give it a try? Hold this down firmly. Is it hard to do it because of the bowl? I'll tell you what, let's skip the bowl. It's okay. Go like this. Go right on the counter. It's clean. And you got to hold this firm and then just go like that, all right? Okay. You got the, that? Should I do the whole thing? The whole thing. Just start okay. grating away. All right, now I am going to make the cream sauce part of the mac and cheese. It's called a roux. I'm going to do three tablespoons of butter. This is a classic, classic sauce. Three tablespoons of butter and three tablespoons of flour. Cal, do you know what a roux is? No, I don't. It's not a baby kangaroo. It's a sauce. And what it's going to do is it's going to be the thing that makes the creamy part of the sauce before your cheese goes in. Okay. Three tablespoons of flour. So Callie, yep. three butter, three flour. If you and your okay. mom are ever making homemade mac and cheese at home, remember, you say, Mom, it's three butter, it's three flour, and that's going to be the basis for our thickening. So I'm going to go in with a whisk and whisk it around. And what's going to happen right away is that flour is going to bind together with the butter. Yeah. And once I have a paste, and that's beautiful, you can make a roux that's dark, or you can make it that's medium color. If I kept cooking it like this, it would get kind of a dark brown. But I want it to be a nice, beautiful, off-white cream color. So, Cal, next thing I'm doing is I am just pouring the milk, three cups of milk, right into this as I whisk. Whisky, whisk, whisk, whisk. And that's it. Now, what's going to happen is that milk and butter thing because I know you love to bake. You bake yeah. at home. I've seen some great pictures that you've done. The milk and the butter is going to combine here with the flour, and it's going to thicken. And that's our roux, R-O-U-X. OK, this is the thickness, Callie, that we want. I'm going to show it to you. How are you coming on the cheese? I'm doing good. Are you almost done? I think yep. that's perfect. All right, now, we have our cream sauce here. Now, salt, Cal. A little bit of salt, just for flavor, some black pepper, tiny little bit of cayenne. Do you remember that time your dad used way too much cayenne on yes. the ribs? Boy, I never let him forget about that. It's pretty funny, right? <laughs> too much cayenne makes your food too spicy. Don't use too much. A tiny little bit gives you great flavor. And some mustard. Now, I'm going to ask you to help me out here, Cal. I would like you to carefully just start putting your cheese in there. Okay. All right, put it in there. Try to, you know, big handfuls fine. I'm just going to stir it. Now this cheese is going to start to melt. Can you see how it's melting right away? Yeah. And it's going to make a nice beautiful orangey color, not too much. Go ahead. Dump it all in. And then if you can gather the rest together, I think our pasta is almost ready. We're going to drain that pasta. Then we're going to take the cartwheels. We're going to mix it with this cheese sauce and it's going to be ooey gooey yummy. yummy all right a little bit more if you want to don't touch this i'm going to go get this um, pasta but don't touch the hot pot okay love to have my kids in the kitchen with me but you got to make sure that you're safe all right this is ready to come off All right, Cal, now for the magic. Oh, good, I'm so glad you did that. You know what happens if you don't stir? You get a little bit of a skin on top. We don't want that. Now, I am going to ask you to carefully stir this. Okay. Really carefully, and I'm going to pour the cheese sauce in. All right? Mm-hmm. Ready? Mm-hmm. Go. Okay, now, oh, beautiful. Now, I'm just going to get this down. And let me take over here and get it mixed up enough so we can taste it as it cools down a little bit. Look at that. Does that look better than any mac and cheese you've ever made looks, before? It looks delicious. I'm riveted on this bowl of pasta. I'm afraid this is one of those dishes that's great for kids and for adults, too. This is hot. I'm going to see if it's too hot for you. I'm going to taste it and see if it's... Oh, that is so good. I'm going to give you a fork.